Okay, the first thing we want to do is get BitTolerant installed on our computer. So there's BitTolerant. <coughs> you can get Bit BitTolerant from from this address up here. Download it. Once that's downloaded and installed, we can go down to the the Tolerant box, which is at this address. And we're just going to do a search for any PlayStation game. You've got games, uh, movies, whatever. Any games on the Tolerant box. Let's see what that brings up for us. Okay, and these are all our games that we can choose from. So what I've done is just you click on here onto the game you want and take you to the download place basically just click on the game you want here and open it or save it um, you want to open it in your bit tolerant so anyway once that's downloaded should look something like this and it comes through in many files sometimes it comes through in one file but today we're going to do Spongebob so we're going to select all the RAR files which are just zipped files we're going to right click and extract them to their own folder while they're extracting to their own folder we'll take you back and what we want to do is download Decryptor DVD Decryptor from this place here and install it. Once it's installed, uh, we can burn the movies through this program. Um, your console will have to be have a mod chip in it. Um, for all mod chips, go to these guys. And I've just clicked on contacts and there in that address. And you can search search for mods for your PlayStation, for an Xbox, Nintendo, whatever you're, you're wanting to chip. Anyway. Okay, now we have our zipped file in one spot. And it's a night comes through as an ICO. So we right click on there and we're going to open it with the VD decryptor put our blank disk in and we click right right to we always burn at 8 speed 